Welcome back to Let's Play Storyteller. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here looking at novels. The final chapter, supposedly. The ceremony. But it says we only need four more uh, things to get the crown. And here, are four, and here are four puzzles, starting with Mad Husband. I don't think I have any new notes, Edgar Jedi. Edgar murders his wife. Not Edgar. Why would you do that? Um... Now oh, shout out to Elthwar, he says, Considering how few scenes these stories have, it feels like more than a book. It's, this feels closer to a theater's stage directions. Also, deception is quite the tool for some of these characters. You're not wrong about that, for certainly. But let's see here. Edgar murders his wife. Okay, first he needs a wife. Edgar gets married to the duplicitous Isabel. Eight panels here. That's a new one. Uh, Lenora will not uh, marry uh, Isabel. Oh, wait. Maybe she wants to marry... Uh, okay, she wants to marry uh, Edgar, but he won't because of uh, Isabel. Well, this is the other way around. Okay. Okay. Uh, no, she's just smoking herself. Okay, I did that backwards. Fine. Uh, Edgar marries Lenore, or Lenora. Isabel can't marry uh, Edgar because of Lenora, and Isabel gets mad about it. Because right, they don't have identical properties. Isabel poisons uh, or, uh, Lenora's wine. She croaks. Because she's dead, Edgar, who misses uh, Lenora, can now marry Isabel. But a seance informs him that uh, Isabel was the one who killed her. Uh, yeah, in, at the seance, Lenora informs Edgar that uh, Isabel murdered her. So Edgar takes the poison to poison the wine. And, uh... Nora also, and uh, Isabel also drinks it and dies. Sorry, I just got distracted by realizing that, uh, you can see green drooling out of their mouths when they drink poison and die. Blech. How charming. Loose end! Duke shoots detective to avoid prison. Um... Okay, I know the Duke won't take the gun by default, he just pets it lovingly. Duchess doesn't give a shit about the gun. King is indifferent. The King doesn't know what the gun is. Detective is completely indifferent to the gun. Okay, uh... Let me try this. Okay, the queen, the uh, the Duchess is in love with the king, who does not return the feelings. But I feel like that won't matter to the Duke if he's looking at them from behind the painting. Yes, he's angry. So now the Duke has taken the gun. He's going to shoot the king, even though he was the one who didn't return it. Duchess looks through the witness holes and sees the king being assassinated. Let's put on this side for a change of base. King being assassinated by the du the duke. Now no one is the ruler of the kingdom. The duchess tells the detective that her husband murdered the king with a gun. But the duke is watching is watching the confession through the witness holes. So he shoots the detective when he comes to try and arrest him. 
On a side note, I very much like how the detective is dressed like Sherlock Holmes, but he's holding modern uh, handcuffs. Duke shoots detective to avoid prison. Nice. I wonder what novel this is based on. I mean, I assume the other one was uh, one of Poe's works, but uh, I don't know this. Maybe it's, maybe it's an alternate ending for uh, one of the Sherlock Holmes stories where he just gets fucking shot. Vindictive wife. Unfaithful husband punished. Wedding, cauldron, mirror, forest, kiss. Okay, I think that's, that's probably the case, yeah. What about other people in the cauldron? No, he just gets nauseous looking at it, and she just gets nauseous looking at it. So it's, yeah, yeah, she has to marry the, uh, the witch first. Okay, Prince marries the witch. They are married. Wait, what is the mirror for in this case? Oh. So both of those characters are straight, so they are not going to smooch. Fair enough. Um... The prince immediately cheats on her and kisses Snowy. Does the mirror tell her or something? No. How the fuck is she supposed to find out is the part that confuses me. tells her that uh, Snowy is the fairest one in all the land, or wait. Oh, yeah, that doesn't change. Okay. So it's not just telling her that, oh, your husband's heart has been stolen by another. No, it's still the same thing. Okay. So... Maybe it's not, she doesn't even need to know about it. She's just punishing him. Which turns into the hag through the cauldron. Forest, witch, prince. No, but she doesn't know. Oh, right, fuck. Uh, undid that scene, good night. Okay, okay, so the prince falls in love, the prince and the witch get married. The prince cheats on the uh, witch with Snowy. Coincidentally, the witch finds out that Snowy is the fairest in all the land, turns herself into a hag, and curses Snowy into a frog. S still a hag, she then finds out that the prince is the pr fairest in all the land and becomes angry at him. And she turns her husband into a frog as well. Well, that didn't count. Because she wasn't doing it because he was... Hmm. The frogs will not kiss each other. Uh, shit. I genuinely don't know how to... How to have the witch find out. Um. I didn't think that would work. 
Uh, this is. I got the unfaithful husband part. Okay, this didn't count. <coughs> that's still prettier. That's still not as pretty as the prince. Uh. actually know what I'm missing here. Okay, so I have to do it the other way. Uh, have her marry Snowy. They're different to each other because they don't care. Mirror, which finds out that Snowy is prettier than she is. Which turns into Hag. Snowy turns into Frog. Alright, so before I do that... Just do, uh. Oh, wait, fuck. Fuck! Did I take that out yet? Yeah, she doesn't have reason to do that. Fuck! If I do this... Well, I thought this would count, certainly. She's not a frog, and then she, and uh, fuck! Oh, this one is confusing.
Okay, it doesn't seem to change anything if she's his husband. Punished. It just leaves everything where it was, which is kind of nice, but, um... Unfaithful husband punished. Okay, we got the f the husband. We got the infidelity. We got the punishment. It just doesn't count. Because there is no way I can think of... Where they... Or, uh, I, the, uh, the, the wife finds out. Because they don't talk. They, they dislike each other whether the cheating has happened or not. And the mirror doesn't tell you that fucking shit. do this in eight fucking panels. I'm also not clear why this doesn't count. That's a more of a coherent story right there, but it doesn't count. What am I not thinking of? I've been on this for like 10 minutes now, it's really embarrassing. I like the icon for Kiss. It doesn't look anything like the actual scene, because it's just a picture of two swans leaning into each other as opposed to the boat in the Tunnel of Love. Yeah, it looks like the Tunnel of Love, all right. Well, that's just a lovey-dovey couple. Uh... the infidelity. Hum. She doesn't kill her if she's not the, the, the hag or anything. She's no. Oh. <coughs> okay, that's right, but right. Okay, yeah. Some haggery there. I don't know 
does she fucking push him in the water and drown him if she uh, has reason to hate him? that was going, but that wasn't it. Uh, I won't get married, obviously, but... Uh, wedding, cauldron, mirror, forest, kiss. And there's the timer. Crap! Well, that's no good at all. I guess I'll have to just... I don't want to skip ahead to the last one because I had done all of the other ones in order and I was feeling pretty good about that. I'm definitely going to be dwelling on this over the next couple days. It'll probably come to me when I'm going over the fucking editing. That seems to be the, usually the way it works. Uh, I guess I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Storyteller as this continues after all. Until then, have yourselves a great day, Burning Dog fans. Later!